In this clip, I will run you through in real time an advanced interval training routine for your legs. So wanna stay around and join in? Hey guys, David here, encouraging you to be active beyond the short term. Hopefully you've warmed up before attempting this workout, and if you haven't, there is a link in the description below to my warm-up routine. The exercises in this routine are the same as the equivalent beginner workout. It's just now we're doing it over 30 seconds, so intensity has to be much higher to deserve that full one minute passive recovery. Should work up a sweat, so let's get into it. Thanks intro Dave. A quick word of warning, as he said, this is a higher intensity. So if you're new to interval training, this isn't really the place for you because I don't know what you're capable of. I'm only gonna show you what I can do at 30 on, a whole minute off. So keep that in mind, you need to be responsible for your own self before we go any further. So we've got sit to stand now with a jump as our first exercise for 30 seconds. I'm gonna use a bench for that. So I'm just gonna pull that in for our first one. We're gonna hit our lovely time and we're gonna go straight into this. Three, two, one, we're away. So now we have the jump. It's for 30 seconds. So try and be as dynamic as you can while still keeping that curve in your lower back as you sit down and make sure those feet don't come under your bum, but stay over the front. Eight seconds. All right, especially for this first one, it feels like forever having to wait a whole minute. But we are, because we're being more explosive, trying to give that body every chance to deal with. Here comes the late puff, as always happens. Let's hope this microphone holds up. So our second one is gonna be mountain climbers. And unlike with the beginner one, we are gonna be doing knee drives. So with the beginner one, we were swapping feet. With this one, we are going to be driving our knee up quite dynamically. That's gonna happen in 20 seconds. These first couple feel weird waiting a whole minute, I know that, but it's just part of the program. 10 seconds to go. Four. Hands on your seat or your bench, two, one, let's go. going. Back to our minute break. Sorry if the microphone is a hassle. Oh. Yes, that worked, didn't it, hey? Bit different from the beginner mountain climber, driving those knees up like that. With all these things, if you find you need to lower the intensity or, or even, even raise it for some reason, um, that choice is yours, that's your responsibility, not mine. If we get to the start of another exercise and you're feeling that you're not up to it, you need to slow down, that's on you too. All right, so 15 seconds, and we'll be doing that lateral jump where we kick a foot out the way, but again, the intensity is gonna be higher, so we keep this puff thing going. All right, here we go, three, two, Ten in. Ten to go. Four, three. Boom, back to the minute break. Oh, it's funny how, I'm gonna grab a drink. All sip. We don't want to be sloshing around, it's just little sips if you need one. Uh, 
as I was saying, it's funny how you think with the first couple, oh, got to stand right for a whole minute. But if you're putting that intensity in that you genuinely deserve a break, you should be wanting and needing that break with the intensity you're pushing. But because that intensity is that high, it's a high risk of injury. So just be smart. Just be smart with all of this. Read your own body. So this time with the knee lifts 10 to go, I'm gonna be coming up pretty high. Again, looking to deserve the break. Three, two, one. completed that is four it's only two minutes of effort but if you're doing it hard enough we are deserving these breaks so we're back to loop number two which starts again to sit to stand with a jump followed by those mountain climbers so bring that chair or bench back into the game in your safe trip free zone <laughs> halfway through that recovery already So as you can tell, if you've already done the beginner one, the intensity is a little different, isn't it? So we were going at a pace of the beginner one so that our body elevated over time. Now we're surging, really pushing up. So sit to stand with the jump. Here we go, three, two, If you're thinking towards the end of that 30 seconds, oh, when's that 30 seconds gonna come? That's probably the right intensity for you. A little sip again. Halfway through our break. So back to those mountain climbers, driving our knees up, pushing your feet away. 20 away. Letting our body recover. 10 to go. I'm feeling warm. Four, three, two, Oh, yes. <laughs> Don't know if you heard my tempo slow down. That was genuine. <sighs> With intervals, the closer you get towards 10 seconds worth, where it's just an absolute ridiculous sprint compared to that beginner one at one minute. So the closer we are, to our 10, the more I'm being chased by a line it is. So 30 seconds we've used up a fair bit of our sprint muscle and we're just trying to survive for the last 10 after that. Bit of lactic build up. All right, so 15 away. 
We're in that lateral jump for the second time. 10 to go. Oh, how are you feeling? Feeling good? Uh, go. Where? Kick that foot. Kick it out of the way. Weights on your inside leg. Halfway through. One more away from completing two loops. So, haven't worked out already. It doesn't take as long to do this workout as it does a beginner one. But again, because you're working hard enough to want slash need that break at the end of the 30 seconds of effort. Halfway through our recovery, got those knee lifts. Would have completed two loops. Oh. Oh. It's no fake puffing here, it's a genuine puff. Hope you are too. 10 seconds away. Stay there. All right. Five, four, three. Hands are up. Two. So this is what that beginner workout is 12 in total, but instead of being 12 minutes in total, it's going to be six. Only because you're working hard enough to deserve the break. If I had a speaker system, hopefully you're starting to say it back to me by now. Are you working hard enough to deserve the break? 30 to go. So, this is gonna be the start of the third loop. If you're crazy enough at the end of this that you think that wasn't enough for me and you have no feeling of injury, well, I guess you could go back in the chapters to loop three and do it again, you crazy kids, if you wanted to. Oh, so tight, I forgot we start with a sit to stand with a jump. Keep that curve in your lower back as you land. No studying with your tail tucked under. Good. Keep that chair there or bench there. We'll use it for those mountain climbers. Hopefully you're at this stage now where you're thinking, yeah, I thought it'd be a good idea to do the more advanced one, and you're feeling challenged. With all this stuff, no challenge, no change. So your intensity is based on your own personal fitness. So there's no reason to keep up this intensity if it's too much for you. If it's not enough, well then you're fit and congratulations, well done on you. So it's all just a guide. We are 10 seconds away. Four.
last 10. Yes, let's get rid of that. Oh, two away, a whole minute's worth of effort over two different exercises. You can probably tell with the intensity, it's much higher impact on your body too. So the recommendations are that if you do this sort of high intensity impact work on your body, if you get bitten by the exercise bug tomorrow, simply go for a walk or do some resistance training instead. Not multiple days in a row, okay? Not good for the impact of your joints. 10 away, with the lateral jumps. Oh, almost there guys, let's do it, come on. And boom. to go. Three, two, yippity do da. One. All right, one to go. Get him out the way. His pesky knee lifts. Just a reminder, there is a warm down clip. Definitely worth doing rather than transitioning from jumping and huffing and puffing to the stopping. There will be a link in the description, as they say. Whew. 15 away for our last one. I know intro, outro, Dave will say it, but thanks for watching and well done. Right, ready? Three, hands out. Two. you intro outro day oh there you go congratulations give yourself a sweaty pat on the back if you really liked it why not give it an old well done on the thumbs up button below to keep you safe let's just cover a few things in the description below there is a link to a warm down routine which you really need to do to make sure you cool down properly and hey thank you for watching and remember to be active beyond the short term